we're going to try this again. Anyway, as I was saying before I was interrupted by some bionic jackass who can't see the motherfucking lights, we all by now have cell phones. Some of the people who are the poorest of poor have better cell phones than me. I can't really afford a really good phone. I got the Samsung by the skin of my teeth. It took me like almost three or four months to pay for this motherfucker. And I had to get it from Best Buy because the one I bought from Walmart, Walmart reneged on the warranty. They sent me all around the garden. Somebody at Walmart got smart with me. It was really fucking bad. And I will not buy another Straight Talk phone from Walmart ever again. And thank God Straight Talk has their bring your own phone thing. So that's how I got this. And I got it for dirt cheap. It is a A51 Galaxy. So I was thinking about getting a Galaxy, um, um, the other one. Still a Galaxy 7, but the, the bigger one, the Note. But Best Buy unfortunately didn't have any. So I had to settle for this, and that's fine. I am not a complainer. I'm not hard to please most of the time. Now, you know, if you don't think that you are being recorded nine times out of ten, you are probably being recorded. With the exception of being in the bathroom, I get it. But this lady has some balls. And then to admit, I'm a grandmother. I know more than this bee and this bee and this bee. And maybe you do. But what you don't know is that you made yourself out to be a horrible human being. Like, literally, you just came out after a child who was mixed and um, some other stuff. Blood blister. In case you wanted to know what I was, like, digging at on my finger. Anyway, the thing is, you know, a lot of people are secretly racist. They don't want to admit that they're racist, and they just are. This lady just got caught, you know. And like I said, you know, people are probably going to come at me for being racist towards racists. And and if you are coming at me for being racist towards racists, maybe you should check yourself. Because I'm being racist towards racist people because I've been the victim of racism for the majority of my life. Which isn't over, but it's... I'm pretty close to 50. Now, one... When the guy came at me for this, because I was saying that the lady should be arrested and she should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law, I wonder how people would feel if they were in the shoes where some asshole that you don't know just comes at your child for anything other than the simple fact that your child can't help the color of their skin. If you're dating a person of a different race, then your child is going to have both of your characteristics. Now, I don't know if it's about who puts in the more work or whatever, but I know that for a fact that if you're going to have a mixed kid, your mixed kid's going to be mixed. They're either going to be really light or really dark. And if both of you are exceptionally light, then your kid's probably going to be exceptionally light. And then you have to think about the ancestor factor. If you look at my video with my nephew, you can see that he's almost like a white child. Just has black hair. You know? And as I said in that video, if I had his skin tone... No one would know that I was not white. They wouldn't. I would just pass on. Now, as I lost my mom in a crowd of white people before, you know, that's the thing. Now, I give kudos to the parent and the aunt that flipped out and tried to beat the brakes off this broad. Because I would have probably tried to beat the brakes off this broad too. And I know Kung Fu. I don't hit women. But had I been a woman that day... And or Ranma, you know, spill your soda on me. That way I can turn into a woman, beat her ass, spill your soda on me. Go heat it up, spill hot water on me so I can turn back to a boy for the cops get here. And then when the cops get here, it's like, well, what are you doing here? I don't know. And he's like, well, she was beat up by a woman. Yep, she was beat up by a woman. And, and, and that would be fine. Because Ranma was probably one of the best characters in anime. I'm sorry, that was off track. But if I could do like Ranma, if I could be a woman for five minutes... That's three minutes longer than I need to whoop the average woman's ass. But I'm not about hitting women. But I'm also not about some woman coming after a child because of the color of her skin. Because the child is mixed. So this broad decided, oh, I'm going to call this person the N-word. And y'all think that that's cool. Well, it's not. And let's say, let's, say, let's say racism in history happened the other way. What if the N-word affected black people the way it affected white people? Excuse me. That didn't come out my mouth right. What if the N-word affected white people the way that it affected black people and it just made them feel like they needed to punch people in the face? A lot of people would get punched in the face. Alright? 
And, and because a lot of people who are black that are called the N-word also punch people in the face. And a lot of people who are white who know black people have stood up and punched other people in the face for calling their friends the N-word. Those are your true friends. Understand that shit. Now, here's where shit goes wrong. My comment. My comment set all of this in motion. And my comment was simple. This woman should be arrested and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. She's not not specifically for the N-word. So if you're watching this fella, not specifically for the N-word. But the literal fact that this woman would come after a child. I yell at children all the time. They're not mine. But I don't call them the N-word. I don't call them little bionic bastards unless I'm really pissed off. But I don't sit here and threaten that I'm going to beat a child's ass just because the fact that they are the N-word. And now I'm going to beat your mom's ass. And I'm going to beat everybody's ass because they have a little black child in a family-friendly restaurant setting. So again, I made this video because the guy came at me. And yeah, I did call him a keyboard warrior. And yeah, I did apologize. But he called me a jackass first. And that does not spawn a likable response. All right? Anybody who comes at you ass backwards on a machine. All right? Shout out to my boy Lance, because people have been coming after him for using the word colonizer. But if anybody's coming at you with a racial derivative or a derivative in general, like a very bad thing, you know, if you came out and said, hey, buddy, maybe we should have a little chat on my view versus your view, that would have worked out a whole lot better than, hey, James Williams Jr., 616, you are a jackass. That's the first thing he says to me on the thing. So I got mad. I tried not to clap back, but I couldn't help myself. So I went off and called him a keyboard warrior, and apparently I also called him a racist. And I did apologize for calling him a keyboard warrior and a racist, because I don't know if he's a racist. But I do know that he didn't clearly understand the concept of this woman calling a child the N-word, and this whole fight broke out. So he was on Blondie's side. And he's probably still on Blondie's side. He also got blocked from whatever channel we got that from. That wasn't by me. I actually sent him a fucking friend request because if he wanted to talk about the shit live on Instagram or whatever, I was completely down with that shit. Because maybe I can open his eyes. Or maybe he can open mine. But the point is, that woman was in the wrong. Mostly for attacking a child. Verbally. In public. And calling... The child, the N-word, was the cherry on the top of a vanilla ice cream sundae. Because there's, there's plenty of times where you can say shit like that woman said. Those are times when you were at home by yourself or at home with racist-ass family members. And that's how you feel because you're safe at home. No one can come into your house and tell you what you can and can't say. People can only come to your house and be your guest. And if you say things that are unbecoming or comfortable to you but uncomfortable for them, your guests have the right to walk the fuck out. You know, just walk away. It's no crime in walking away. And if your guest doesn't talk to you anymore and you ask why, and it's like, well, one, you use the N-word one too many times because one time is one too many and you wouldn't stop. And you not once looked at me and said, oh, damn, my friend is of color. So you have to think about stuff like that. So if you're at home, and you're teaching your kid how to be racist, you also need to teach your kid how to take a punch. I'm just saying, if you're going to teach your kid to hate people of color, or anybody because they don't like your kid, you better teach your kid how to fight. You better teach your kid how to take a punch. <coughs> <coughs> because bad things can happen to you when you call the right person the wrong thing at the right fucking day at the right fucking time, and you're going to find yourself getting a new dentist. All right? And I'm not trying to be evil. And I'm going to end this video before it's erupted because it's almost perfect. And whenever something goes perfect, somebody has to perfectly fuck it up. So I want you guys to think about that shit, man. I mean, she's after a child. And I'm mad. And it's not just because she's after a child. But not only is she after a child, but she's calling the child a racist slur. The guy who came after me on Instagram clearly didn't understand that that shit is not okay. You know, he also probably either doesn't know any black people. Or he might be an undercover white racist. Or he might be an undercover Asian racist. He might be a self-hating black racist. Like I said, I named all three ethnicities just to make sure that I don't miss a beat there. You know, and he may he may just like not understand the concept of 
Coming after someone's child in public is a big fat no-no. There are many people who will die for their children. There are many people who will go to war for their children. There are many people who will kill you in the streets and dare the cops to say something because you attacked their child. And they will be well within their rights. And if you don't understand that, then you may need to check your moral compass. Because right? any time that a grown-ass person is willing to go after a child and say shit like that woman said, then they have issues. And they need to check themselves before they wreck themselves. Thanks for watching. This is Comfort Happen number two. Be seeing you. I'm also going to make another video, but not this one.